Hello and welcome to Open Genome Browser. Many groups have accumulated hundreds of genome sequences. They are often made available using platforms like these. You may have noticed that all of these platforms look different, though they share a set of core features. However, because they are all custom built, there tend to be issues around large development and maintenance costs, limited functionality, user friendliness and code reusability. This brings us to the ideas behind Open Genome Browser. The goal is to design a general solution for this type of problem that is not tied to a specific database. It should have a simple setup, be customizable, contain more features and be more user friendly. Without further ado, let me demonstrate some features of Open Genome Browser. You may play around with it yourselves by opening my demo server hosted on opengenomebrowser.bioinformatics.unib.ch. Let's start by opening the Pathways tool. Suppose we are interested in the pentose phosphate pathway and all of the genomes of the taxonomic family Lactobacillite. Now we see the pentose pathway map, with each enzyme box colored according to how many of our genomes cover the annotations behind it. For example, this box is white, meaning that no genomes cover any of its annotations. This box is red, meaning that all genomes cover it. And this box is orange, meaning that some of the genomes cover it, but some don't. Suppose we are interested in the genes behind this annotation here. Let's click on Compare the genes behind this annotation. This opens a new page where the responsible genes are selected. We can now load a multiple sequence alignment and the gene locus plot. In these gene locus plots, orthologous genes have the same color. Our gene of interest is the one in the middle with the blue color. Now we see that our gene of interest is usually flanked by this green gene here. To find out what gene it is, we can simply click on it and see all of its annotations. This already concludes the demo of two features of Open Genome Browser. I will now list some other features, but without going into detail. First off, the genome table allows users to view, sort and filter genome-based metadata. Moreover, I have implemented three different algorithms of generating phylogenetic trees and an annotation search page that allows users to easily find out which genomes cover which annotation. Next, there is a gene trait matching feature that allows one to find annotations that are overrepresented in one group of genomes relative to another group of genomes. Open Genome Browser can also generate dot plots to compare assemblies. Naturally, it is also possible to blast the database. Thank you for listening to this very brief introduction to Open Genome Browser. If you are interested, visit some of these links or contact me.